want to communicate the same way we, we did when we first put up a show. You put up a show because you want to show what you did. It's still the same drive. And uh, you look for tools, you look for means, you look for ways to express yourself. So if, if a really big company can help you, wonderful. But it's an interesting taboo. When they called us, we thought right away that it would be a great opportunity. H&M is a very big chain. They, meet, they make cheap clothes and uh, it's fast fashion. And we are at completely the opposite spectrum of, of fashion. So to have these two opposites come together uh, is, is like a paradox. basically recognized um, that we had the same ambition and um, the same dreams also about, about fashion and about our future. And we did not want to accept the fact that uh, Holland is a fashion wasteland. We didn't even have a name and they had to give us these prizes so they had to call us on stage but they didn't know what to call us so they just said the first prize is for Victor and Rolf and um, we, we, well, we kept it like that. The couture shows were already telling stories and sending out ideas, but it, that's where it stopped. It was telling something, and then there was applause, or you know, not, no applause, but anyway, there was the press, and that was the end of it. We really missed a more lively interaction with an audience, and also we needed to turn our work into a business. It was just not realistic, only doing couture. The feeling is that you want to grow and that it has just started and that you want more shops and you want beauty products and you want more perfumes. But it all has to be done in a new way. I never really quite understand the, the tension that people uh, seem to feel when it comes to uh, commercialism or uh, creating a business and creativity. It's quite interesting because a lot of people ask us, for instance with L'Oreal, such a big company, they perceive problems, tension, like you are so creative, this is so big. and. Uh, we experience it completely uh, in an opposite way because these big companies make a lot possible and they want to work with us because we are creative. 
And I think we always make sure that we have creative freedom. Whatever we enter into, if there's no creative freedom, then we cannot work. Well, fashion really is, is always that balance between creativity and, and commerce. These, all these divisions, these distinctions, it's bullshit. In the end, it's all about business. Goodbye.